Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and welcome to a new face-up stories, where I will show you how I repainted a doll from start to finish. This video was actually meant to be a Patreon exclusive episode, since we've made the wig, magnetic ears and hair accessories as part of my Chobit series. But I really liked how she came out. Plus, this face-up was quite different from my usual ones. So I thought of sharing it on YouTube as well. But yeah, I hope that you will like it. As per usual, I prepped the head by spraying it three times with my sealant of choice and ensuring each layer is completely dry before spraying another one. I usually skip this part on my videos because it is quite difficult to record it and honestly it's quite boring and uneventful, but if you wish to see a full video about how I seal my face-ups, have a look at my Back to Basics series. I've shared and explained every single step of the sealing process. So. When the doll's head is sealed and ready to take on some paint, I begin by drawing the eyes with my trusted pencils. This is only the first of many layers, plus because I am still figuring out the exact shape, size and position of the eyes, things will look quite rough for a while. Speaking of pencils, don't forget that I have a full list of materials listed in the description box. And I also have linked my Back to Basics episode that covers all of the basics to start painting face-ups. Throughout this whole process, I have this image of Chi as my main reference. Her eyes look slightly different depending if you check the anime or the manga. But even in the manga itself, the eyes change quite a bit throughout the series. Not to even count all of the guest appearances of Chi in other Clamp series. But I've personally decided to stick with the manga version, especially considering that it was the manga that made me fall in love with this series. So, at first I thought that it will not be too difficult to draw her eyes, since they are so simple and minimalistic. But I soon realized how naive I was. The simpler the eye design is, the more obvious are any parts that aren't properly symmetrical. And when you only have one eyelash to draw, it has to match perfectly between the two sides, otherwise it will be super noticeable. What I've struggled the most is not only with the positioning of the eyes, but also the size. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen my work in progress on this doll and all of the attempts at getting the eyes right. What was also a challenge was not making her look cross-eyed, because she does not have any pupil in her iris, so yeah, the eyes can look a bit funny if you're not really really careful. This face-up was quite tough to be honest. I kept restarting from scratch because the eyes looked so wonky every time. If you ever struggle with symmetry, I suggest either turning the head upside down or using a mirror to see the mirrored version or taking a photo on your phone and flipping it horizontally. That can really help in seeing the problematic, not symmetrical parts clearly. This face-up did not have any airbrushed parts. I pretty much did everything with a couple of pencils and a pink pastel for her lips and blush. I guess the main hero for this face-up would be the eraser, 
because of how much I used it to achieve the correct look for Chi. Eventually, I was finally happy with the drawn details. So then I had to layer more pigment to make the colors really pop. Whites, browns and yellows for the eyes took the most time and layering. Something else that I've done this time is to dry brush white acrylic paint for her sclera. Again, dry brushing is the key to create a soft look. Looking pretty good, right? Okay, let's add some more blushing with lots of blending. I use a cotton ball to soften the gradient and remove some of the pigment. Now I am tweaking and polishing the color and details of her lips and after that I go to seal her up. Okay, I think it is time for the Instagram features. It's been quite a while since we've done this. If my videos have inspired you, post a picture on Instagram with the hashtag AndreaTutorials and you will have a chance to be featured in one of my videos. Thanks to everybody who has been sharing their creative projects with me. It is always fun seeing what are you guys up to. We're almost done guys, let me quickly apply some subtle shimmer on her for that extra glow and then we're done! And here is the finished face up. I hope you like it, but we still have some more work to do. She needs clothes and her wig back, so let's do that. At the time when I was ordering her outfit, I just couldn't decide which one of her fancy dresses I wanted to be made. So I ended up commissioning a normal t-shirt like she wears at the beginning of the series and I also commissioned her reddish brown school uniform. Those two outfits were just temporary, and now that she is done, I am kind of considering getting her one of these two dresses. So now I need your help, which one would you pick if you were me? Let me know in the comments if you have time. We are almost there. Just fixing the wig a little bit and she will be done. Here 
here she is. You might have noticed that I did not put any gloss on her. I think that gloss would be a bit of an overkill. I see Chi as a natural beauty that does probably not wear any makeup or at least not very often. So matte natural lips seem most appropriate. If you guys are interested, I am happy to do a dress up video when her real proper dress gets here. I do have her school uniform already, but she looks so cute in the plain t-shirt that I want to keep her like this for a while. And before I go, I want to say big thanks to my Patreon supporters who have made this video and whole series possible. You guys are the best, thank you so much! If you want to see the full process of making her wig, magnetic ear parts and hair accessories, hop onto Patreon! All of my past series can still be watched even if they have ended. So if you see this video in a few months or so, you are not too late and you can definitely still watch and learn from my previous projects. Anyways, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I will talk to you again next week. Bye!